Are you ready to dive into the depths of human existence and challenge the boundaries of your understanding? Have you ever felt the pressure of fitting into a world that expects you to conform to certain norms and beliefs? And do you sometimes wonder if the human experience can really be captured and defined by just one rational perspective? Well, if these questions piqued your curiosity, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore the captivating world of Soren Kierkegaard, a 19th century Danish philosopher who is a true trailblazer and is often considered the father of existentialism. Together, we'll embark on an intellectual adventure, delving into his radical ideas that challenge conventional wisdom and encourage us to confront our innermost fears and desires. In this episode, not only will we get a glimpse into Kierkegaard's life and the historical context that shaped his ideas, but we'll also uncover the key principles of his philosophy and how they can be applied to our own lives. So, prepare yourself for an eye-opening journey that will leave you questioning your assumptions and, possibly, inspire you to embrace the complexity of your own existence. Are you ready to venture into the world of Kierkegaard and discover what it truly means to be yourself? If so, buckle up and let's get started. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our thought-provoking episodes. Now, if we take a closer look at Kierkegaard's life, we'll discover that his personal struggles and experiences played a significant role in shaping his philosophy. Let's consider, for instance, his tumultuous relationship with Regine Olsen. Kierkegaard's decision to break off their engagement was like a catalyst for his philosophical inquiries. How many of us can relate to the agony of making a heart-wrenching decision that defies the expectations of society? Growing up, Kierkegaard also grappled with the heavy burden of his father's strict religious beliefs. Imagine living under the shadow of a deeply devout parent, like a bird constantly attempting to spread its wings but weighed down by the gravity of faith. It's no wonder that Kierkegaard's work was profoundly influenced by this aspect of his life, leading him to explore the intricacies of faith and its role in human existence. Now, here's a controversial opinion for you. Kierkegaard's personal struggles were, in fact, the secret sauce that gave his philosophy its unique flavor. While some may argue that a philosopher's life shouldn't have any bearing on their ideas, I believe that Kierkegaard's experiences add depth and richness to his work, making it all the more relatable and relevant. Think about it this way. Kierkegaard's life was like a kaleidoscope, reflecting a myriad of colors and shapes that come together to form a mesmerizing pattern. Each twist and turn in his personal journey added a new dimension to his thoughts, culminating in a fascinating philosophical landscape that continues to captivate us to this day. Now, let's take a step back and immerse ourselves in the intellectual climate of Kierkegaard's time. Picture this. The world of philosophy was dominated by Hegelianism and its unwavering belief in the power of rational thought. It's as if the philosophers of the time were trying to fit the boundless universe of human experience into a tidy, little box of reason. But is life truly that simple and well-ordered? Enter Kierkegaard, the intellectual rebel who dared to challenge the status quo. He looked at the dominant philosophical trends of his time and thought, well, this just doesn't add up. To him, the idea of reducing human existence to a series of logical steps was like trying to explain the beauty of a sunset using mathematical equations. Sure, you could do it, but would it capture the essence of the experience? Now, I know this might be a controversial opinion, but I believe that Kierkegaard's desire to challenge the status quo was instrumental in breathing new life into the world of philosophy. His work acted as a beacon guiding future generations of thinkers towards uncharted territories and opening up new horizons of understanding. Let's consider an analogy. Kierkegaard was like a gust of fresh air blowing through a stuffy room filled with old, dusty books on Hegelianism. His ideas swirled around, disrupting the stale atmosphere and ushering in a new era of philosophical inquiry. So, as we delve deeper into Kierkegaard's work, Let's not forget the courage and audacity it took for him to challenge the prevailing ideas of his time. After all, who doesn't enjoy a good intellectual rebellion now and then? Just remember, the next time you're feeling boxed in by conventional wisdom, channel your inner Kierkegaard and dare to think outside the box. As we delve into the heart of Kierkegaard's thought, we inevitably encounter the concept of existentialism. 
But what exactly is existentialism, and where did it come from? Allow me to paint you a picture. Imagine a time when philosophers believed that reason could solve all of life's mysteries, like a master key unlocking every door. But then, a spark of rebellion led some thinkers to question whether reason alone could truly capture the essence of human experience. And so, existentialism was born, like a phoenix rising from the ashes of rationalism. At its core, existentialism seeks to understand the human condition and the unique struggles we face as individuals. It's like trying to decode the enigma of our existence, one puzzle piece at a time. This philosophy emerged as a response to the limitations of rationalism, challenging the notion that objective knowledge could explain the depths of our emotions, desires, and inner conflicts. Now, here's a controversial opinion for you. Existentialism is the antidote to the sterile, one-dimensional worldview that dominated Kierkegaard's time. By daring to explore the labyrinth of human experience beyond the confines of reason, existentialism offers us a richer, more nuanced understanding of ourselves and the world around us. And what if rationalism is like a black and white photograph, capturing a moment in time with stark clarity? Existentialism is like a vibrant, colorful painting, filled with layers of meaning and emotion that reveal themselves upon closer inspection. As we dive into Kierkegaard's existentialist ideas, we'll begin to see the world through his kaleidoscopic lens, discovering a tapestry of insights that resonate with our own experiences. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's ponder this rhetorical question. Can we truly understand the human experience by relying solely on reason, or must we embrace the chaos and complexity that comes with being alive? As we explore Kierkegaard's existentialist philosophy, we'll attempt to answer this question and perhaps even gain a newfound appreciation for the intricate dance of life. Now that we have a sense of Kierkegaard's existentialist perspective, let's dive into the key principles of his philosophy. Kierkegaard believed that human existence could be understood in terms of three stages, the aesthetic, the ethical, and the religious. First, let's talk about the aesthetic stage. Picture a wild, carefree spirit, forever chasing the thrill of new experiences and the allure of pleasure. Sounds like fun, right? But Kierkegaard warned that living solely for pleasure and novelty can lead to despair and emptiness. It's like eating cotton candy for every meal. Sure, it's sweet and exciting at first, but eventually, you'll crave something more substantial and nourishing. Next up, we have the ethical stage. This is where we step up and take responsibility for our actions, guided by a sense of duty and moral commitments. It's like choosing to put on the brakes and navigate the winding roads of life with intention and purpose. But is a life governed solely by rules and obligations enough to quench our existential thirst? Finally, we reach the religious stage, the pinnacle of Kierkegaard's philosophy. Here, we confront the limitations of reason and take a leap of faith, embracing the paradox of our existence. It's like standing at the edge of a cliff, eyes closed, ready to jump into the great unknown trusting that there's more to life than meets the eye. Now, let's see things in an unusual way. Let's take as example, the religious stage, with its emphasis on faith and paradox, is the most profound and meaningful way to live. While some might argue that it's an irrational path, I believe that embracing the mysteries of existence can lead to a richer, more fulfilling life. Imagine life as a game of hopscotch, with each stage representing a different square on the path. We start at the aesthetic stage, hop to the ethical, and finally leap into the religious, each step bringing us closer to understanding the enigma of our existence. As we explore Kierkegaard's philosophy, let's challenge ourselves to move beyond the familiar and comfortable, and strive for a deeper, more nuanced understanding of the human experience. Now let's turn our attention to a vital concept, subjectivity. Subjectivity embraces the importance of personal experience and emphasizes that objective knowledge alone cannot fully capture the essence of human existence. You might think of objective knowledge as a map. It can show you the way, but it can't make you feel the wind in your hair or the sun on your face. That's where subjectivity comes in. This brings us to a question worth pondering. Can we truly grasp the complexities of life through reason and facts alone? Kierkegaard believed that emotions, passions, and inwardness play a crucial role in our lives, 
enriching our experiences and shaping our understanding of the world. Now, imagine life as a symphony, where objective knowledge represents the sheet music and our emotions and passions are the instruments that bring the melody to life. Without the instruments, the music remains flat and lifeless, a mere echo of its true potential. This is where subjectivity steps in, breathing life into the notes on the page and creating a rich, vibrant soundtrack that resonates with our souls. Here's a controversial opinion for you. Embracing subjectivity can lead to a more authentic and meaningful life. Some may argue that relying on emotions and personal experience is unreliable or irrational, but I believe that it's precisely this element of unpredictability and depth that makes life so fascinating and rewarding. Journeying further into Kierkegaard's thought, we encounter the captivating concept of the night of faith and the teleological suspension of the ethical. Now, who is this knight, you may ask? Well, imagine an unassuming hero who embarks on a quest, fueled by unwavering faith, defying conventions, and embracing the enigmatic nature of life. This hero's journey leads them to transcend the ethical norms and commit to a higher truth. What does it mean to have faith, according to Kierkegaard? Is it blind obedience to dogma or rituals? Not quite. Faith, in Kierkegaard's view, is a deeply subjective and individual commitment. It's like choosing to dance in the rain, even when others tell you it's irrational or foolish, simply because you believe in the transformative power of that experience. How many of us are willing to embrace paradox and uncertainty in the pursuit of higher truth? Are we brave enough to navigate the turbulent waters of faith and doubt, or do we shy away from the challenge? Kierkegaard's Night of Faith serves as a reminder that true faith often requires us to step into the unknown, confront our deepest fears, and accept the inexplicable. So basically, we can picture faith like a seed that lies dormant in the depths of winter, buried under layers of snow, patiently waiting for the warmth of spring to sprout and bloom. In the darkest and coldest moments, faith remains, holding the promise of new life and growth. On the other hand, perhaps embracing paradox and uncertainty is not a weakness, but a strength. In a world that prizes certainty and concrete answers, it takes courage to acknowledge the limits of our understanding and embrace the mysteries that life presents. Like an explorer charting unknown territory, we venture forth into the vast landscape of the human experience, driven by curiosity and a sense of wonder. So, let's take inspiration from Kierkegaard's Night of Faith and challenge ourselves to journey into the realm of paradox and uncertainty. Who knows what treasures and insights we may discover along the way. After all, it's often in the darkest corners of the unknown that the most brilliant gems are found. As we conclude our exploration of Soren Kierkegaard's thought-provoking ideas, let's leave you with an inspiring quote from the man himself. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. This powerful reminder encourages us to embrace the uncertainty of life, to trust our journey, and to live with courage and faith, even when the path ahead seems unclear. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating adventure into the world of Kierkegaard and existentialism. Up until next time, take care, and see you soon.